Hello, hello, hello everyone, Zildjian here with another ap ap uh, ASMR video. <laughs> yeah, so more noodles, yay. This time it's with beef tendons, cooked with beef tendons. I believe that's what it is. Basically, yeah, it's like a bunch of joints or cartilage or I don't know. It's soft and chewy there's some meat but mm, i don't like the meat part actually because it's really tough but the 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 stuff it's super soft and chewy and it tastes delicious i mean well obviously you have to cook it for a very long time yeah i didn't cook this stuff by the way yeah so if it, it, yeah I, I imagine if i bought this i would just boil it and it will be bland and flavorless and it'll probably be still be delicious because I actually just like this chewy texture yeah and then here's noodles It's not instant noodle ramen but it's just some I don't know some Asian noodle that looks kind of like it but doesn't taste quite like it so it's probably lacking some ingredients or secret things like it's probably like the instant noodles is fried beforehand before they serve it I mean they sell it to you maybe that's what what's happening but okay, let's go straight into it and let's eat some noodles. I keep on thinking it's the instant ramen. It looks like it, but it's not. It doesn't taste quite as good. It's still, it's still tolerable. It's okay enough to put into my mouth. <laughs> Only if there's like enough sauce. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Yeah, the thing with noodles is if I eat too fast, Definitely feels yeah, like choky, like because it's like a huge massive string and it just goes down in my throat easily. So yeah, I'm gonna probably take small bites and bite, bite it up first before. I, yeah. Like stuff like rice just goes down is no big deal because it's already in tiny pieces I don't know Right, I just had small bites and then there I go try to eat like a mashup bite. It's weird. <clears throat> I like eating meat, but it turns out the meat is actually like the least delicious part of the animal. It's usually stuff like cartilage, <clears throat> tendons, like organs. I don't know. I mean, the, the you can't eat cow skin, <laughs> right? I don't know, but like pig skin. Delicious chicken skin, delicious duck skin, like delicious. Like the smaller animals, the skin isn't that tough. You can eat it. It's great. It's delicious. I don't. Uh, it's probably because of all the fat content. Is cow skin edible? I don't know. Maybe I've never seen it in like a market or something. It's always just cuts of meat. 
Is it too tough to eat the cow skin or they just sell it to make a letter? But usually they sell the, the pig skin, like the pig trotters, the pig feet, delicious. Cause it's mostly, mostly like, it's mostly fat skin and cartilage. It's probably really good for you too. Especially for women because of your know, osteoporosis or whatever. Good for old people, like just good in general. It's it, maybe it's not like a super health food, but it's definitely good for your joints. If you if you think the pig trotters, the pig feet is gross, chicken feet also same thing, because it's also filled with skin and you know cartilage and fat. Probably not the fat part is the healthy part, but maybe I mean maybe there's like omega three fatty acids or something, but. Mostly it's the cartilage and the joints and the, yeah. Like this stuff is really good for you. If you don't want to eat it and if you think it's gross or disgusting, you just boil it in water. Boil it for like five hours or whatever, how long it takes to simmer soup. And then you got some like nice healthy nutrients inside your soup. Obviously, it's even better if you eat the whole thing. I mean, it doesn't even necessarily have to be the feet. Like, just any joints. <clears throat> Although the feet seems to have the most of it. They grab some water here. Mm. The meat, some of it is like stuck in my teeth. It's incredible. It, there's not that much meat, but it somehow gets stuck in between the gaps in the teeth. The tendons themselves are fine. I mean, the joint or car. I don't. I don't even know. The 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 chewy stuff. That's fine. It doesn't get stuck in my teeth. But like, look at this meat. It's just so little. How is it getting stuck in my teeth? Is it, yeah, I think it's cow stomach. Really like eating that. And pig stomach and pig intestine. <coughs> pig intestine, pig ears, pig. Mm, the pig tongue doesn't taste that good. Liver also doesn't taste that good. <clears throat> I don't know why. Not all organs are created equally. Chicken hearts taste really good. Chicken gizzards taste really good. There's one thing that I never tried, and probably never will. Rocky Mountain oysters, those are basically lamb testicles and bull testicles. Wait, is it lamb testicles? Or, yeah. Is it sheep testicles? Isn't sheep the female? Or, I don't know, or is that you? Or is, is goat the male? Or is goat is a different race? I can't, there's so many animals. 
Can't remember which is one which one is the species and which one is the gender. But yeah. I mean it's probably gross and disgusting because it's testicles, but they usually cook it like chicken nuggets where they deep fry it. They bread it and deep fry it, so it's like chicken nuggets except for made with cow testicles. I don't know. I mean, if they call them Rocky Mountain oysters, they must taste good, right? Oysters taste good. Okay, so that's all the time we got for this episode. Hopefully, if you're enjoying this series, enjoying this video, be sure to let me know down below. Subscribe, comment, rate the video, smash the like button, smash that bell notification icon, please. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.